started up. I just left the shop. I'm like one mile away. Okay, let's start from the top. It all started with, well, not, not that far from the start. My start with this truck started in Florida about two years ago. So I flew down to Florida with the intentions of purchasing my truck. Now I don't have a video of that, but I do have one picture. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I'll tell you the rest in a second. For those of you that are interested in my Invisalign and, and what they do, uh, go to Owl Orthodontics in Buffalo. They take care of you. They are extremely friendly people. Uh, the most friendly doctors I've ever spoken to in my life. So if you want to start out the 2018 year with Strayer Teeth, check them out. Okay, now I need to find a car wash. So when I flew down to Florida, I learned two things. One, I got clickbaited, and two, well, Traveling without a vehicle is difficult. Saying that, I, I was kind of suckered into buying this truck. So my brother dropped me. That was quick. My brother dropped me off at the New York Buffalo Airport. What am I talking about? Yeah. Then I flew to I think it was South Tampa. The kid who sold me the truck actually only lived a block away from Derek Jeter. Uh, well, probably one of his houses because I'm sure that man has numerous houses. Can you believe a YouTuber getting clickbaited or view baited even though I don't think I've ever heard of that? 3D Machines just created it. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm a YouTuber and if I see clickbait, <laughs> that does happen because I watch YouTube videos just like you do. Now when I see that, that doesn't tick me off. Um, it actually lures me right in to click a video. I click the video, if I don't like what I see, then I you know, don't watch the whole video. Or sometimes people tell a story and I like to hear that, so even if the, the thing that you wanna watch is at the very end or it's only like this long or whatever, like I, I still you know, don't mind that at all. What I do mind though is when I get clickbaited and it costs me money. Dolan, how the heck does this happen? Well, it's very easy. You go on Craigslist.com or Facebook and you go to buy something and they have nice pictures of this item that you want to buy. Well, when I went to buy my Duramax in Florida, the pictures of the truck were, were excellent. And he said there was a little rust on the truck and I'm like, okay, this is perfect. I live in New York State. There's a lot of rust here. Every, every vehicle, even if it's like two or three years old, it has rust. And I asked him if there were any issues with the truck because he was like, you know, a couple thousand miles away from me. I wanted to make sure that everything was safe and sound, that I could fly down there and drive it home. He says, yeah, there's absolutely no problems with it. You know, it's got a little bit of rust. It's got a little bit of paint chips missing. Well, when I got down there, the whole hood was peeling. The whole roof peeled. Don't get me wrong. When he picked me up at the airport, the truck sounded amazing from a far distance or a far glance. It looked amazing. Then he pulled up and it looked like a huge pigeon took a massive sh on the hood. Then a couple months passed and then uh, my cousin and I figured that we could paint the truck. Some people thought it was a huge mistake. I thought it was really fun and I learned a lot. One of the most difficult but beneficial things in life is to not care what people think. Hey, anyways, anyway. So my cousin and I and my brother spent a few, well, a few days a week repainting my vehicle. We also went through a lot of materials. And then unfortunately, after that job, I had a deer. But that's okay because that's why I have insurance. The insurance took care of a lot of this. I just had to pay a deductible. Now we're gonna wash it off and show you what the final paint job of this beautiful Duramax looks like. The 
snow is melting right now, and if I drive this truck on the streets, then all that work will be for nothing. Well, not really. I just want to reveal this to you in a proper way. So without further ado, here's the Duramax. Mama, the meatloaf! Turned out excellent. Like I said, the snow is melting right now, so all the roads, well, this one's a little dry, but my road is completely wet. This is going to be a dirty, messy machine once I get it home, so I hope you guys enjoy the Duramax reveal. And now that I revealed the Duramax, I want to tell you guys that machine decals like the one I have on my windshield are now available on machinemarch.com. Same color, same quality. They do not peel off. I missed this thing. What can I say?